This is your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Your boy is back, and I done did it again. Listen, all right. People have been asking me, Joe, how do we learn? How is it that we supposed to learn this stuff, man? Cause we watching videos, but it's not sticking. It's not. It's not coming here. It's not staying there. All right. How do you learn this stuff in an efficient way, right? Do you guys remember back in the days when the teachers would talk to you and give you a lecture and be like, "Hey guys, bring out your number two pencils and write down notes," or take out a pen. Write down the keywords of whatever I'm talking about. That's how I used to learn. I'm not one of those people who are like super smart and it's like, oh, I got to remember everything in the world. No, I got too many things in my life that I got to worry about other than school. You know what I mean? So how did I keep all that stuff in my head? How do I remember everything? Very simple. You got to sit down, write down the notes, right? And also do whatever you're learning, right? So let's say an example. I did this this video about uh, basically uh, learning the map method in ES6, right? And how to use it and what is it good for, right? So pretty much what I did was I basically said, okay, var users and then a bunch of objects with a couple of users. You got Joe, you got Matt, you got Barbara, right? So pretty much that's what I did, right? You as the student, you're supposed to copy along and follow what I'm doing, right? But at the same time, once the video is done, your job is not to watch the next one, right? Unless you already, you completely understand the concepts. If you say, hey, I completely understand this, fine. If you don't completely understand it, meaning, hey, I don't remember the syntax, hey, I don't remember... Uh, pretty much how to write this thing. Hey, I don't understand what's really happening. If you don't understand that, then what you should do is right after you watch the video, instead of you jump into the next video, and be like, okay, complete, continue. This is not Netflix, kids. This is not Netflix. This is not a race to who gets to finish something first. Nobody's here. You don't pay your money to say, hey, I finished it first, guys. Nah, nobody's going to give you anything for finishing a, a, a tutorial or course first than everybody else. It's like, hey, I did it in 25 minutes, a seven-hour course. Nobody's going to come in and give you an award. Nobody's giving you, hey, this is the quickest student ever. Here's a trophy. Nobody's going to do that for you. The idea of this is you're paying money to learn, right? And the beauty about having video or uh learning on your own time is that it means you don't need to move on until you get that concept right so let's say an example we hear we learning es6 and we don't understand what is let's say the map method for why will we use it right what you should think about is start analyzing things first you be like okay we have a bunch of users in this array each one is an object right let's say an example right so then here the person is saying okay usernames he's creating a new variable right and then he's saying equals to users that map and then he's basically passing in one user one user right and then returning back just that user's name right now what happens after that basically like i said you get everything returned back right you you get um one user's name returned back inside of an array so how will you remember this right the first thing that i would do is right after i follow this and i copied it exactly how the the, the instructor had it as a student, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test myself. I'm going to challenge myself. And instead of me going forward and, and just jumping ahead, if I don't understand it, is I'm going to sit down for a second and come back to it and create something very similar to it, but with a little twist from your own brain, right? We were talking about users, right? So 
what I would do is I would say, okay, artists. So I have a list of artists. Let's say Jay Z, Cameron, Jay Z forty four, Cameron forty, right? Then I come here and say, okay, artists dot map, and then I remember I have a function, and inside that function I want to pass down one artist, right? Then I pass down that one artist, and what I want is to have the name of each artist. So that's going to return me back an array, right, with each artist inside of the array. All right, so that's when you come here and you say, okay, you do something like this. You say, artist names, All right? So you got this variable. So now var equals to this here. So now when I console log artist names, it returns back Jay Z and Cameron, right? And that's what I, all I wanted, right? Now, as you uh, being the student, now you understand everything that happened. You have an array full of objects. It doesn't even have to to be full of objects. It can also just be numbers. It can just be names. It can be strings. It can be anything, right? But you have this, and then you understand that okay, I have the artist. Right, and then if I return that back, it returns me back the artist names. Now you sort of understand it. So then you say, okay, cool. This is what happens with objects. What happens if I come here instead of objects? I basically say something like this. I come here and I say 23, uh, 44, and let's say something like a string, Jay Z. Right? What happens there? You start playing around with the code, start messing it up, start breaking it, right? So you could understand what's happening. You're like, okay, wait, undefined. And then you think in your head, oh yeah, I was basically trying to get a property that's not there because this is no longer an object. So you come here and you delete this and see what happens. And you say, oh, okay. So basically what I did was I took every single one and put it into this new artist names. Right? You just start messing with it until you understand it. Me personally, I never go from video to video to video to video. What I do is I take my time. If I don't understand the concept, I take my time on that topic and stay there until I understand it. And I try different variations of what the teacher, the instructor showed me. Right? I can come here and put in and like let's say uh, an array I can come here and put in an array right and be like hey array so now we have arrays inside of arrays what's gonna happen in that situation let's run it you're like oh sure every turn back one array one array one array it's like I know it, it seems dumb but what I do is I always come back, I break whatever the teacher was teaching me, right? I break it and then put it back into into uh, a working uh, format. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It could be HTML, it could be uh, JSX, it could be anything out there. It could be whatever it is. You take whatever the teacher, the instructor showed you, you break it, then you fix it, right? And just play around with it until you understand it. And you're like, okay, now I understand what's happening. Right? You understand you understand that what the map function does is basically return back and basically returns back a a brand new array with whatever you decide to put in, in here. If we was to pass in an object and you put in a property, then Whatever you're returning here is basically is the, the name or the property that is from that that one artist, that single item. And that's how you learn, guys. I know uh, I'm going too deep into this map function, but in reality, it's all about just you guys coming in, 
follow what the teacher has, do it. Copy exactly how it is, verbatim. Then you come, you stop. You try to make it on your own, right? If you can't, you make the same example that you just did. What you do is you basically, you try to do as much as you can. And if you, you can't do it, like let's say right now somebody, all they could get, all they could remember was you have an array of users. If that's all you remember, fine, right? Then from there you come here and you copy this. You basically come back and, and, and go into this thing, right? Or even before you, you give up, and say, oh man, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back and look at the answer that the instructor had. Nah. Take a little time, go online, and search map method JavaScript. Because this is what you're gonna do constantly. It doesn't matter. If you work on Google, you still gotta look at the documentation. You work at NASA, you still gotta look at the documentation. Nobody remembers all of this stuff. Nobody. You ask somebody, hey, show me every method in, in JavaScript. Their head is going to explode. I'm like, that's it. So you have to think about it like that. It's like, okay, if I'm stuck, let me find the answer. Before I go back to the video that the instructor showed me, let me go and look for the answer. And then once you get that done, then you come back and be like, okay, I got it. I understood it. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I learn. You want to learn this and you want to take advantage of what you have now which is a, basically the internet just gave you the option to learn anything out there man we joke around we was <laughs> joking about this video um, this funny little commercial that I did uh, self-taught gynecologist <laughs> it's funny it is a, a funny thing but at the same time it's like I'm pretty sure somebody could teach themselves how to be a gynecologist out there and that's no joke. You know what I mean? Like, it's, if they go hard and they want to learn that, you can learn it on your own. I mean, is somebody going to trust you? I don't know, my, but, <laughs> but it's, you know, it's like you can learn anything, man. It's just uh, you got to find your way to basically learn it. Don't skip things. Don't be like, oh, I'll come back to this. No, 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 buddy. You stay right there until you learn that. And then you jump to the next thing because most tutorials in most courses, what they do is they give you an easier thing first. If you didn't learn that in the beginning, you're going to be effed up later on. All right. So love you guys, man. Stay up. CodingPhase.com. Um, yes. Come to my website, man. CodingPhase.com. You just come here. You'll be like, hey, CodingPhase.com. You click there, it brings you to my website. It does not look like that. That's my that's my internet, guys. It's not my fault. This goddamn internet uh, keeps messing up. But um, yeah, you come to the website, you get a whole bunch of courses. Right now, guys, I'm I'm seriously loving this course. This real estate app is coming so legit right now. It's like it, it's like pretty much teaching you guys React, learning React basically learning advanced um, HTML CSS as you learn react it's like guys it's pretty legit man it, I don't even know one more to say guys I love you guys I'm out peace <laughs> Joe back at it again man codingface.com listen this whole course right here that you are watching here on YouTube is part of a larger course man it's part of the the big picture, guys, is part of the five projects that's going to get you hired. Now, you guys have seen the video that I created, basically going over every single project that you need to build. Guys, if you do this in React, pretty much you're, you're set, right? Now, I'm actually going to take my time. I'm going to build all of those five projects for you guys. So you guys can build this with me and you can use this for your portfolios. Guys, major websites. This is major key, guys. All right. Just go to codingface.com. Register, guys. Subscribe. If you guys don't want to wait for this course to somehow be released on YouTube, 
come to the website. You can watch it right now. You don't have to wait. I'll see you guys later.